Welcome to St. Peter Claver School. My name is Therese Shimshock and I am the principal here at the school. St. Peter Claver has had a rich history in the Rondo neighborhood. It's known as that safe haven for students. Here, everyone looks like them. Our teachers really try to bridge that gap between cultural competencies and classroom content and making sure that each child is reached through the means that best suit that child individually. Our class sizes are very small. We have an average size between 10 and 15 students and that personalized learning allows us to go a long way with those small class sizes. At St. Peter Claver School, our student body doesn't necessarily come from the Rondo neighborhood because we have been known historically for the an African American heritage. That's the people who usually come to see us. We serve the St. Paul neighborhood, but we also have families that come from Egan, Maplewood, Brooklyn Park, Minneapolis. So it's not necessarily a neighborhood school, although we love to have the neighborhood kids here. It's an area where people come so they can feel safe and that they get the personalized attention. It, you don't necessarily have to be a Catholic to be here. We do have religion class every day. We do go to mass once a week. We do pray in the morning, but we really want everyone to be here. It's about following the golden rule of treating others as you would want to be treated. And that's how we teach religion. And we believe that each child that comes through this door is a beloved child of God. Our tuition is currently set at $1,400, but don't let that stop you from joining St. Peter Claver. We never want finances to be the reason why you don't come here. We have significant financial aid available. In 2016, St. Peter Claver became a part of Ascension Catholic Academy, which allows us to share resources such as finance, marketing, development, and curriculum resources. That allows us at St. Peter Claver School to spend more time on what we do best, and that is educating the whole child. As part of Ascension Catholic Academy, we share specialists with one of our partner schools, St. John Paul II in Northeast Minneapolis. We have a performing arts teacher and a PE teacher. Our performing arts teacher does a phenomenal job of talking about leadership through the arts. She teaches them how to do an interview, how to speak publicly about how we need to look at people that are doing things differently than the normal person does. There are some students that thrive in the performing arts that don't necessarily thrive in a regular classroom scene. So it allows that child to have that small class, but also see that that's an important piece of who they are. So when we talk about the whole child, it really is about the whole child. It's not just about teaching them reading or math. It's about experiencing life in general. In PE class, Mr. Flaquet does a phenomenal job of keeping them exercised, both mentally and physically. Part of our curriculum is doing health in our grades five through eight, where he teaches them about nutrition, body systems. He does some yoga pieces in there too. We do have after school programmings for our K to four and our five to eight. They run from 2.30 to 5.30 every day. The schedule is about the same for both of them. They start off with a snack and some social time move to about an hour of homework time and then free play or social time after that. In our K-4 to program, we have um, a grandma and grandpa that comes in a couple times a month and he does some drama and puppetry and some storytelling with our K-4 to students. In our 5-8, to eight, they follow the same piece of having that social time and snack time, but then two days a week we have our STEP program. Our STEP kids have performed for um, area schools they have performed for fundraising events, and they have also performed in front of 2,000 teachers at the Minneapolis Convention Centers. And as St. Peter Claver ambassadors, they've learned the leadership skills of how to work as a team, collaboration, speaking in public. So we really believe that those leadership skills will carry them forth when they move into high school and to college. Our students, when they graduate from here, go to a lot of different high schools. Many of them go to private high schools, Creighton Durham, De La Salle, St. Thomas Academy. We also have ones that go to public high schools. We need our kids to be successful wherever they go. In this coming year, we envision our programs to become even stronger. Our staff is fully committed to reaching every child every day, whether it's online or in the classroom. Where we thrive is in reaching the whole child. It's not just about teaching our scholars to read or do math. It's about building relationships with each and every child and walking with them on their journey. 
Just today, I heard from a parent about that experience with his four children. He said, your class has truly brought out their excitement for learning. You taking the extra time to help them during these unprecedented times means the world to me and my family. May God bless you with the same riches. And I think that just kind of summarizes who we are as St. Peter Claver. So I invite you to come join our family because this is what we do best. Go check out our website. That's where you can find our enrollment form, videos of our step team are on there and our Black History performances, as well as other information about our curriculum. I'd love to hear from you and hear how we can help get you into St. Peter Claver.